I had been a runner for 14 years, in fact, a marathoner. 47 years old, at the top of my game. In 1982, Ruth Heydrich's running career came to a sudden stop when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. After a mastectomy, her doctors recommended chemotherapy and radiation to treat the cancer that had by then spread to her lungs and bones. Ruth decided to visit Dr. John McDougall instead. And I said, Ruth, I've spent my uh, residency collecting information on diet and breast cancer. And it's all in these files right here. Sit in my office and read through it and see what you think. He said, these are the studies that show what I'm trying to prove is that diet can reverse breast cancer. And she read it. And she comes out and she says, okay, I've changed my diet. She changed her diet. So he showed me how to eat. No added oils, um, lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains. Ruth then started training for the Ironman Triathlon in Hawaii, which combines running a marathon with long-distance biking and swimming. I became obsessed. Kept up the running, of course, never stopped, and then added swimming, biking, and for good measure, lifted weights. And people were saying, you're crazy. You're a cancer patient. You should be resting. Doctors told me this. I felt so good. I felt fit. And I wanted to maintain that level of fitness. And I felt sure that if I had a healthy body and I was putting the right food into it, that I could beat this cancer. At the Ironman Triathlon, Ruth won a gold medal in her age group. Stuck with the diet, found out my arthritis disappeared, my constipation disappeared, my dandruff disappeared. No sign of depression, which you might expect with a cancer diagnosis. I felt renewed, invigorated, and out to show that diet is so much more important than anybody ever thought. Mm. Other women get over breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer. There are people who have had metastatic prostate cancer all over the body who have gone through what we call spontaneous remission, in other words, they've been cured. And it's not the end of the world when you get this diagnosis. Some people get over it. Ruth did. So I'm still racing, still daily training. Now, how many people in their 70s are doing triathlons? Not very many. So that gives hope for all of us as we age, that not only will you stay healthy and, and beat the degenerative diseases that most people get, but you can start collecting medals.